Hello and welcome, my name is Yesfulman, and I'm just going to get straight to the chase because you know why you're here. So what we're going to be doing is creating a folder. Put that folder in like your documents or another drive, somewhere that's out of the way and not going to interfere with your general day-to-day -day usage. You have to kind of go out of the way to use it. The next step is we're going to be creating a shortcut to the Windows Store application or the Windows Universal Windows application, the Metro app, whatever you want to call it, we're going or whichever version it is, doesn't matter. Works the same for all of them. You're going to make a shortcut in that folder. You're going to put a batch file that will then launch that shortcut and launch CMD and keep it sitting there for a bit for the whole duration that until you close it. And then we're going to have Steam basically launch the CMD and read the CM uh, launch the batch file read the CMD as the game and this will allow you to basically start your game it'll say you're playing the game sadly this does not make it so you can change your controller configuration for Steam for Steam controllers but I still have a solution for that because Steam has introduced a bunch of features and we can utilize those feature sets what we're going to be doing is making it so the Steam controller or we go to desktop configuration for the Steam controller and we're going to alter it so we can make a more modular setup. I'll show you guys how to do that. Basically you'll be able to hold select or something of that like and push A, B, X, and Y and switch between different controller modes so like Xbox controller or generic KBM or maybe you want controller uh, controller setups for each one. Sadly, there's one problem with this. <sighs> so far, uh, I have not been able to get the Xbox controller configurations to work with any any game yet, any of the Windows Store games. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong. I don't know if it's what it what it is. If it's just not detecting the Steam controllers one, even though it's putting out X input, it must work different than other than like the actual it must be read different as an actual Xbox controller so I don't know if I figure that out I'll definitely make a video on it so now I'm gonna give the tutorial section of this what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create that folder that folder again it's gotta go in like I put mine in my entertainment drive and it's on special games folder you can put that anywhere anywhere it's kind of out of the way your documents even program files if you want to make it treat it like an install like you're manually making an install it's not but treat it like that that'd be kind of cool so then we're going to go in here and then we're gonna push the Windows key so the one that brings up this and R at the same time and then we're gonna want to put this in I'll have it in the description and I'll click OK it'll bring up the applications folder from here, we're going to need to find the game or application we're looking for. So in this case, I'm going to use Gears. All I have to do here is click and drag, or hold and drag, click, hold and drag <laughs> to the folder that we just created. We can now close that applications folder. We don't need it anymore. The next step is creating a batch file. It's not as complicated as you might think. So from here, we're going to right click on a blank space, go to new then text document. Now if you have extensions enabled go ahead and just change that to a dot bat. If not just leave it just leave it alone it's not a big deal and just rename it to whatever you would like. I'm just gonna name mine the toot because this is a tutorial. Now just go ahead and click outside the space right click on it and click edit. Then from there you're gonna want to paste something in like this or type something in like this. I'm pasting it. <laughs> uh, within the quotes you're gonna want to put the directory that your shortcut is and include your shortcut in there. So the whole path, the path, not the directory. Well that works too, but put the path for the shortcut in there. So for example mine is in egames metro slash uwp and slash toot. Then the thing is called Gears of War Ultimate Edition blah 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 shortcut dot link dot lnk. So make sure you have that dot lnk even though you probably don't see it because I don't even see it online. Then make sure you pause, echo at echo off, go ahead and file, save if you have it as a dot batch, save as if you have it as a dot text. 
Now right here we're going to change that dot text to a dot bat. Go ahead and click save. You can close that window. You can now delete that dot text. And this is a nice little batch file. So let's go ahead and test it, make sure it works. Yours should do something like this. Boom. And if it, it'll open up your application, I'm just going to close mine for the moment, and you should have this running in the background. You can, with this, you can push any key or the X to close it. I'm just going to push this. Bam, it's closed. Cool. The next step is we're going to need Steam to work. Woohoo. So, we're going to go to the library. We're going to go ahead and go to add a game, add a non-Steam game, and just add any application. Sadly, we can't just add the batch file directly, at least as of making this video, but maybe it'll change. So I'm just going to add Curse for right now, and then just find it, find the application you added, and then right-click on it, go to Properties, and then go ahead and go to Change. Now you're going to have to find your way to the folder that you just made. If, you, if you're having trouble figuring out where it is, go ahead and go back to where your folder is located. You see that, that bar up here, the address bar? Just click on it and you'll be able to see where everything is. So you'll be able to see like mine's an E, Games, Metro, blah blah blah. So all I have to do here is make sure I'm on my E drive. Then I have to go to my Games folder, my Metro, my Toot, and then you want to make sure that the program f that where it says program files exe change that to all files then go ahead and click on the bat file click open make sure you change this to whatever you want so i'm going to change mine to toot if you have an icon make sure you put it in a file that's easily accessible and go ahead and choose your icon if not just go ahead and click close and boom now you'll notice that it's gone so go ahead and find it so by typing it again ah, I made two okay yeah that's the one we just made so click play and they'll do that so if I close this you'll notice that it is still saying I am playing the game because it's reading this as the application or as the game I go ahead and close it we know it works now awesome now we need to move to the steam controller step so to do this you don't have to have your steam controller plugged in just go ahead and click uh, the big picture mode navigate to the little cog at the top the settings button go to configurations desktop configurations and yours is going to just be this desktop so what I ended up doing was I made all these little controller configurations over here so you'll see like an add section add action set you're gonna wanna click on that um, you can copy one if you already have one you can just name it and click OK then you're gonna be provided with a blank template that you'll have to fill in so I had to fill in each of these and I put them in there what made sense to me then I made it so the select button would link to these so by doing that you actually have to click on the whatever you're gonna make the button that whatever button set you're gonna make switch your controller key presets you're going to wanna to click on it and then you're gonna to wanna to go over to mode shift then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you select the button that you wanna push I pushed I put it as select because select just seemed like the most out of the way but you might wanna do the paddles it's up to you then you want to make sure you set this to button pad and click on whichever button you want to set it as set set a controller configuration as go to set and click on this and find it in the drop down then you just want to do that with all of them and you'll be good to go from there you can just click done export it if you want to export it and you can then play your games with your Steam controller by holding select, switching to your game, your, your mode that you want to go on to, and you're ready to go. Again, just to reiterate, iterate, however that word is said, <laughs> to you can't 
use Xbox controller configuration. I set them in there thinking it would work. It didn't. I just ended up using the generic one for my game so far. I'm still hopeful that one of them I click on will work just simply. It's not going to look for the Xbox controller. But so far has not been the case. I even went back and tested some older games like some Jetpack Joyride or whatever that game's called and that still didn't work. Um, anyway, so tell me how this video was. I, I actually really want to know because I tried doing something where I went more straight to the point. I tried to tailor it more for different, the different audiences that would be looking for tutorials. It's not like a broad one, but a lot of people, there's, there's a good portion of people out there who just need to know what, what we're doing and they can figure it out themselves. And that's why I kind of just did that overview in the beginning. Plus it helped get people prepared for what we're going to do. And then I wanted to just kind of get straight to the point. That's why I didn't have any like talking to you guys in the beginning. I'm not like, hey, we're going to do this and then do some other thing and just explain things to you because you, you know why you're here. And I figured there's no reason for me to tell you why you would do this because more than likely you're looking up this tutorial because you wanted to get your Steam controller to work, you wanted to get your game to work through the Steam, the Steam thing, whatever it was, you know why you're here. And so I, I, tell me if that worked for you, if that was a lot better to get more straight to the point. And uh, tell me if you have any ideas for this, if I can improve upon it, because I would love to. Part of the, the cool thing about this too was we didn't have to download anything. Because that's one thing, that there are some other methods that look like they're a little bit more promising, but you have to download stuff. If you guys want, I can try to look at them and try them out and see if the results really vary enough to try that. Because it might not even be worth that effort if it's going to be similar to what we just did here. So, anything you guys want to say? doesn't matter you know try not to be you know trolls but I'm expecting you guys to come <laughs> sorry anyway um, have a good one guys remember to always stay yesful go ahead and thumbs up this thing this video if you liked it thumbs it down if you didn't that's okay have a great one everybody